Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be taking one step further from our scopes video tutorial. So if you haven't watched my video tutorial regarding scopes, then you can go ahead and watch that. I'll be leaving the link just below that like button. And also, if you already know what scopes are in Laravel, then you don't need to watch that video. You can just continue with this one. So in this video, we'll be making a dedicated class for scopes. So you are just uh, coming to this video, then here are the three scopes in the products model. So here is a product model and there are three scopes in here. So which is in stock, active and can be bought. But in a real life project, we can have multiple scopes which can make the model very, very fat. So using a dedicated scope class or a builder class, we can make a model a little bit slimmer. So just before making a dedicated class, let me show you by using these scopes. Yeah. So in the Tinker well, so what we can do is product get. Let me get all the products here. So if I get all the products here, I am getting all the products. So I'll be also showing you here in the database. So I have currently twenty products seeded here so some of them are active yeah so here you can see some of them are active and some of them are inactive and also we have the quantity some of them have quantity and some of them have quantity as zero now if i say here active like this i will only get the active products here so you can see here i am getting is active is one for all those yeah and if i if you see here the quantity is zero here and if i say here stock here then all the quantity greater than zero will only be shown here so you can share that is gone now we are only seeing the products that are active and that have the quantity greater than zero okay now this is how it works now we'll be adding these scopes to a dedicated class so here are the scopes i'll be transferring this to a dedicated class so just before transferring it to a dedicated class let me show you something here so if i access a this data like this or like this it is same thing like this so you can see here if i execute then all the data here is same yeah so if i don't write this then under the hood laravel will automatically prepend that method there and after that it will execute this code so let's see what laravel does under the hood first so if i go into home controller let me show you there so if i say product query here now let me click here if i click here then it will take me this into this code so if i click here now it is taking me to this model class and inside here it is just returning a new static query now if i click here yeah and it is just registering the global scopes and this is the query without any scope so let's see what's inside here now you can see it is building the new query and adding some relationship and some counts there yeah so let us go here inside this now here we will be seeing here it is just returning the new query builder it is building the new builder using this new base query builder now if we go here inside the new eloquent builder now here we will be seeing here it is returning one builder object yeah and and this is the illuminate database eloquent builder and now if i show you here in the tinker well now if i just do query here now you can share it is returning the same thing Ill illuminate database eloquent builder and here you can see that yeah so it is returning this this is the eloquent builder now we can just copy this so this is i'm taking all this code which is from this product model yeah and if i go here in the product inside so it is extending this model and it is the same model that we are getting here so we can just override this method so if i go here and let me add it to the top here now if i simply override this method and here we should return a new builder class yeah so currently this is the illuminate database eloquent builder now let us create our own builder class which extends this builder then it will work the same way and let's see what happens so for that let us create a builder folder here inside the app and let us say product builder.php 
and inside here php i'll be adding the namespace and here class this now now this should extend the builder and it should be illuminate database eloquent builder okay now we have done this here yeah? now instead of this builder in the product yeah we can simply write this here builder so it, it is doing the same thing so if we see inside the builder class here it is just extending the builder means we are simply returning the builder from here yeah now if i go here in the tinker well now if i undo the changes here like this now if i run the code now look at here everything is working the same way nothing has changed so if i remove this in stock here now if i run this now you will be seeing here all those with the quantity zero as well so nothing has changed everything is the same we are just adding this thing in our model now let us extract this scopes to a, that our current that builder we have created now let me just mm, remove this from here and let me just add these here yeah so what these are returning is these are returning builders the eloquent builder so query where quantity is greater than zero will also return the query builder it means that all of these must return the builder so if we add these here inside this so we don't need to add these scopes now let us remove this and instead of in scope let us make them all the camel case so now we have done this and now we also don't need this query here because laravel was doing some magic under the hood and uh, making the query variable available yeah but now we have a dedicated class for this builder product builder so we don't need that variable here we can simply do this here so this because since this is also a query builder yeah since this is the query builder which is extending a builder we can simply say this here and we can simply return this from here so if we return this then only we can change the methods now i have done this now i have already removed the scopes from here as you can see here there are no scopes in this product model and all those are passed here and we have modified this now if i go here in the tinker well and if i run it should work the same way now if i run this now look at here i am getting the same results here yeah so okay now this active is returning this so we can again append this method here active like this sorry this method let us append in stock here so if i run this code then i should not see this quantity zero here so if I run this code, now you can see here, I am only getting those with the quantity greater than zero and active products. Also, we can also call this method here. Let me remove all these here. Yeah. And can be bought is simply the combination of this active and any stock. Now, if I run this, so it is working the same way. This is all happening because under the hood, Laravel is calling query like this. And our query in the product class is returning this product builder from this new eloquent builder. And we have already seen that this new eloquent builder is being called under the hood when we call this method. So guys, in this way we can make a model a little bit slimmer and extract those scopes into a separate class so that's it for this video guys if you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also hit subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this so thank you for watching have a great day bye